possible for them to do things to you that would be unthinkable because they don't even regard you as human. Mm -hmm. Psychopaths don't see mm -hmm. they, they, are, they have the inability to connect with other people, to care about other people, to empathize and feel for other people. Mm -hmm. And I think yes. that our president, and this is based on trained psychologists mm -hmm. who have said to me, we identify it. It says he's a psychopath. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is who he is. And he actually thinks every what he does is right. Well, he, he, you know what, he, I, he, I think he thinks that it's, it's okay. He doesn't care, I think. Yeah, he don't care. Right. Because remember, he, he don't like, even think. He's unable to feel for other people. So when you talk about wiping out programs, health and food programs in schools, of course he does. If you talk about, um, again, taking, making sure that, um, so it's food programs, it's health um, healthcare programs, you know, it's just whatever he can do. He, he And he's appealing to a base of people mm -hmm. who have said to them, this is what they want him to do. Right. And he's going about fulfilling every wicked promise he made. You know, mm -hmm. he really is. So, you know, hurting uh, children of immigrants. Who, who, who taught mm -hmm. his children? Mm -hmm. What kind of person? A wicked, him? evil yeah. devil. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, you know, so that's what I think about the president is he is an unwell man. He is unfit for office. Mm -hmm. He is clearly unfit for public office, mm -hmm. not just because he doesn't care about people, but because he also is a person who just, you know, he just does not represent our country well. He and in your it. estimation, um, because, uh, and I have to give big kudos to um, the, um, it's Corker, uh, Corker from uh, Tennessee. He is calling the president out. He ta he he's saying some of the same things that you're saying. He's unfit. Why is it that um, all of these people swore to uphold the Constitution? Mm -hmm. None of them are doing it. What is this party? Oh, um, you know, it's like party over people. It's like all of them are going with that that attitude that you just professed. It's, that, that psychopaths, they just think that the um, minority of people of color just don't exist or they just don't care about them. What is it about that body that can't call it like it is? He is unfit. I mean, Stevie Wonder can see that he is unfit. <laughs> my grandchildren who look at the news with me have said that without my prompting. What is it that they are not seeing that we are? Well, they see everything we see, but they're trying to preserve power. Mm -hmm. Remember, all of this is about power. Mm -hmm. the yes, it is. In each of these elections is who has the power. Mm -hmm. And even if you recognize that a person who's under your tent mm -hmm. is unfit, the mm -hmm. question for you is, will you cede your power? Is it right. enough for you to cede the power not only that he has, but mm -hmm. that you have as a part of that legislative body? Mm -hmm. So that's the question. I think the Republican Party is protecting Trump, not because they agree with him. Mm -hmm. I think privately, most people in that party yeah. are people who can say, you know, this guy is unfit. Mm -hmm. I don't even think that they all share his views. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm still willing to give the benefit of the doubt and say that some of those people don't share his views. Yeah. But the question is, who has the power? Mm -hmm. Are you going to give back that power? And the answer has unfortunately been no. Because what's the alternative? Mm -hmm. If they condemn him, Mm -hmm. Then they see power. They give back power. They empower Democrats. And this whole mm -hmm. subject of who has the power, that's what this is really about. Is and that's why we're selling, guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is if they give, if they if they condemn him, they mm -hmm. give back their power too. But if they can't let him go on, we're not going to have a country to defend. That's true. And that's and that's what we have to begin to to the question is not about Trump, it's about our country. Yes. Who are we as a country? And mm -hmm. is that acceptable to all of us as Americans? Mm -hmm. Right. We get to decide that. Mm -hmm. Who represents us as Americans? And I think that when we start seeing ourselves more as Americans and less as Republicans and Democrats, and yes. we are, mm -hmm. it's like President Obama said. It's not blue states, red states. It's the United it's States, states. Right. America. That mm -hmm. has to become the chief issue for us. But, you know, it's been difficult because, again, these people have to give up some power. Mm -hmm. If they throw this man under the bus, mm -hmm. they know that the power goes back to a Democrat. Mm -hmm. And many of them, you know, and some of them have honestly held disagreements with the Democratic Party. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some of them, for religious reasons, do not agree with decisions that were made. Right. So some of them have very, some of them don't agree with economic policies. Mm -hmm. So some of them have, I have to just see it this way, that some are like um, Trump and are bigoted. Mm -hmm. But there are some who have honestly held disagreement with the Democratic Party. They think we've gone too far. Right. And right. some of the things that we have done, they don't agree with everything that we have done. So, mm -hmm. you know, but it's a, a kind of difficult dance. And he is a complete disaster. And I don't think anybody knows how to handle Trump. Not mm -hmm. even the people in his party. Yeah. So how are you preparing yourself uh, 
to win this 2019 Fresh Jones County. Oh, here, here, here. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? So the first thing that, that if you ask me that and I give you the honest answer, the honest answer is I have thought about this for so long and I have tried to prepare myself with prayer. That's the first thing that I do is to make sure that I'm a healthy Amen. person. Mm -hmm. An unhealthy person can't lead anything. Right. So yep. I have tried in every way that I could to make sure that I'm a healthy person. I am a very prayerful person. And I keep just asking God, you know what, let me see whatever it is I'm supposed to see. Make me wise in every room I go in so I can understand mm -hmm. what I'm hearing from people. When I connect to a person and talk to them, I ask God, help me to know what it is I'm supposed to get from that exchange. Right. And so I've been asking God for wisdom and strength mm -hmm. to act on the things that he's showing me. Because sometimes some of what is shown is difficult, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> some of it is difficult. Yes, indeed. And then I try to keep myself, you know, I exercise. I, um, you know, I just try to keep everything in perspective. Um, but that's that, and just work hard. You know what, there, and I hope my daughter sees this, and I talked to her about it, because she had a conversation with me this week and said, you know what, I really don't like your job so much. <laughs> she, said, you, she suggested to me to a, num a number of times, she said, you should probably go be a substitute teacher. She said she thought that would be a wonderful profession. <laughs> Come to school, see more of me. Yeah. And she said, you know, it's hard, because I work late, I work long, she can see the stress, but I had to tell her, well, you know what, Alex, nothing comes to you easily. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The lesson that you can see from me is anything in your life that is worthwhile is going to require a lot of effort. Mm -hmm. yes. And I told her no matter what it was, if she decided to be a doctor and heal people and, and perform surgeries, some of those surgeries are going to happen overnight. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to be willing to put in some effort. Mm -hmm. Right. You might have to stay up all night to heal someone. Mm -hmm. And for me, and in the work that I'm doing, it's serious like that for me. Mm -hmm. So it means that maybe I have to give up some evenings, you know, maybe I have to make some sacrifices. Mm -hmm. But that's what, you know, if you're blessed, then you have the chance to do something you love right. and make some sacrifices. So, so how do I prepare myself? That's it. I pray. I work hard as I can. I give it everything I have. I mm -hmm. really do. You know, I think about it. I plan it out. I try to recruit good people. John Erzin is here with me today. Mm -hmm. I want yes, to he's been there. wonderful. Mm -hmm. We've been communicating back and forth over the phone. And he is amazing. <laughs> left his wife tonight and his two small children wow. to join me and um and he makes sacrifices in the whole team mm -hmm. um they all make the same sacrifices because they love this county mm -hmm. we are we are in agreement about it mm -hmm. <laughs> are you taking yeah. that same team to the uh, county executive oh, office when you go absolutely. oh absolutely. <laughs> if they can't go i can't go <laughs> <laughs> you know what and i try to surround myself with people who are not just smart mm -hmm. and have a good work ethic but have a good heart yes yes you know mm -hmm. nelson Mandela said, "You need a strong mind and yeah, a good, good heart. heart. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. It's, it's, yeah. You know, one doesn't work without the other. So I try nope. to surround myself with people whose values are right. similar to mine. Yeah, it's not just smart. The smart is not enough. Right. Smart right. people are a dime a dozen. That's what my father told me. Exactly. And that's true. Yeah. Right? It's a dime mm -hmm. a dozen, but it takes something much more than that. Mm -hmm. you know, a person with some courage." person with some guts, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. person who believes in something. Something, exactly. exactly. Yeah, you know, and that's what people oh my God. And I have been blessed to find this. And you're right, every one of the folks who've been working, John Erzin included, um, mm -hmm. yeah, of course. You know what, what a wonderful, wonderful team I've been blessed with. Okay, now I saw you on uh, YouTube endorsing Brian Frosch yes. uh, for State's Attorney. Can you tell us a little bit about him? Brian Frosch, let me tell you, I knew that he was a, a good person and I believed in the same, you know, we had a lot of the same ideology. Mm -hmm. But I have been even pleasantly surprised since he's been elected um, attorney general. Mm -hmm. He has done marvelous things. The way that I came to know him is we worked on three pieces of legislation for domestic violence together. Mm -hmm. That's why I ended up endorsing him. Right. Mm -hmm. Out of all the people in that legislature. And, you know, sometimes you align with people.